Today we're going to show you how easy it is to write a program that acquires analog input voltage data using the Universal Library in Visual Basic. Connect a measurement computing DAC device to your computer and run Instacal. After you have detected your device with Instacal, run Microsoft Visual Basic and create a new Windows Form application. I'm using Visual Basic 2010 Express, but you could also use another development environment from Microsoft Visual Studio.net. The application accesses the Universal Library through the MCC DAC assembly, so you must add a reference to this file in your project. Right-click on Windows Application 1 within Solution Explorer and select Add Reference. Click the Browse tab, navigate to the root directory where the Universal Library is installed, and select mccdac.dll. Use the toolbox to add controls to the form. I'm adding a button control, two label controls, and a timer control. The button control will be used to start the acquisition. The first label control simply provides a description. The second label control will display voltage values read from the DAC device. You can change the text property of a control to identify what displays on the form. I'm changing the text property of the button control to start, the first label control to channel value, the second label control to display value. I'm also changing the text property of the form to read Universal Library AN. After setting up the form, double-click on the button control and add some code. Beneath the public class form one line, enter code that declares the variables and instantiates a board from the MCC board class. The MCC board class is used to access stack methods and board properties. I named the first variable my DAC board. This variable creates a new instance of the MCC board class. The zero indicates that the board is installed as board zero in Instacal. I name the second variable dataval. This variable will hold the integer count value read from the DAC device, so I set the data type to be a 16-bit integer. I named the third variable eng unit. This variable will hold the voltage value that is converted from the count value, so I set the data type to single. Now add a click event that calls the timer function when the button is clicked. The timer control is identified as timer1, so enter timer1.start. Now create a timer tick event which calls the Universal Library AN method. AN reads an AD input channel and returns a 16-bit integer value. Enter 0 as the channel number to read. Select the range and select data val to hold the value read from the board. Now call the UL method 2 eng unit to convert the data from a 16-bit value to volts and to store the value in the variable eng unit. Enter label 2.text equals end unit to display the voltage value on the form. That's all the code you need to acquire and display data.
Now display the form and click the button to start the acquisition. You can see the acquired data values updating on the Windows form. As you have seen here, acquiring analog voltage data with the Universal Library is quick and easy. Visit us at mccdaq.com slash ul for more information about Universal Library software. Thanks for watching.